Wherever you look in the village of Dufatania, you will be greeted with the same sight. Banana trees have surrounded houses, occupied the air, and carpeted the ground. A donation of 1,000 trees has multiplied to 3,000 and will soon triple again. So these villagers had a conundrum. Rwanda is flooded with bananas, so what should they do? After a chance meeting between the head of the village and a member of a British university, a group of students came up with the answer. So they wanted to find a use of what their waste product from bananas, because basically the middle trunk is essentially used for nothing. Uh, so we managed to think of a way or found out a way of transforming the trunk into fibres and then from there into sandwich towels. We googled around a bit and we saw that some other people had done it before but there was no production method or anything so we basically knew it could be done but yeah it's been a lot of trial and error. Basically there's no method online or something so it is kind of figured out yourself. If you want to run the knife down to it. And the process they figured out is impressive. First, they strip the core of the tree into stringy fibres. Once we've got to the, we just dry them out in the sun. Then they mix paper and water to make a paste. The paper means the final product will be white and more attractive. The fibres are added so that it can eventually go rigid. It's then cooked to make it pure and dried in the sun. The result? a highly absorbent pad that can be used in nappies and sanitary towels. Here in Rwanda they had the materials and the technical skills and then over in the UK there were three students who had the idea. Over thousands of miles they've developed a product that might make a genuine difference. It might not seem like it, but what this is, is international business at its best. Many women in Rwanda can't afford sanitary towels nor nappies for their children. They often resort to rags causing infection and lost time in work and school. But these banana products can be made at a rate far cheaper than imports. Since all ladies have a menstrual cycle, this will really help us. Instead of spending the money in the shop where we've been buying them, we are going to make them and teach our daughters too. The cost will be cut. We could even make plenty of them and begin a business. It's a great thing. And this is the right village to do it. It's a cooperative that prides itself in finding ways to work, sell and create sustainable business. But they are still keen to thank the three British students for giving them the idea. Because to turn a forest of banana trees into a life-changing product is something worth singing about. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Rwanda.